A lot of people look at this and they say it's bad to come in high and fast when you're landing. That's why I fly Grumman, but I can only come in high. Hey guys, I'm Brian. Recently, one of my students came up to me and they said, Brian, is there a reason that all of the runways run north and south instead of east and west? Now, when I say student, I teach a driver's ed course at the local elementary school. So it would be really easy for me just to explain to you why all the runways go north and south, but I think it'll make a lot more sense if we hop in the plane and I show you. Let's go. Clear prop. reason all runways in the world go north and south is not due to wind like a lot of people think. It's because of the Earth's rotation. Now, a lot of experts out there claim that the sun goes around the world, but what's really happening, and I've done the math, is the Earth is actually turning. Northwest traffic, Grumman 7, Julia Bravo is departing runway 17. It'll be a downwind departure to the northwest, northwest traffic. All right, Mixers Rich, fuel pump on, trim set, flap set, everything looks good. Controls are free and correct. All right, full power. Heels on the floor. All right. 50, 60, let's go fly. All right, so it is, it is true that all of the runways in the world, on this world, uh, go north and south. And it's not for the reason that most of you think. Uh, a lot of people say it's because of the wind. Um, actually, it's because of the Earth's rotation. Uh, that's a fact. So a lot of experts out there will tell you that the sun goes around the Earth from east to west or west to east, whichever. Uh, fact of the matter is the Earth actually turns uh, sideways. So the reason the runways go north and south is because if the runways went east to west, if you're flying away from the direction of the rotation of the Earth, you're never going to be able to catch that runway. You'll end up landing short of it. Uh, or if you're landing in the direction opposite the Earth is turning, uh, you're going to overshoot every time. There's no way you could have a runway going east and west. It just wouldn't work. There are definitely people out there that will claim they're familiar with airports that have east-west runways. Uh, but there's a lot of people that claim a lot of things. And you don't see me making videos about a lot of things. So I think we can go ahead and put that rumor to bed. As a student pilot, you probably remember struggling to maintain center line. Well, that's because you line up for the runway, and what happens? That's right, the Earth moves. It's very hard to match the rotation of the Earth as you're on final trying to land your aircraft. This is why they focus so much on crabbing to land, slips to land. These are maneuvers that allow you to maintain center line as you're flying and trying to keep up with the rotation of the Earth. Otherwise, if the Earth didn't rotate, your runways could go all different directions. You just fly straight in. You wouldn't even need rudder pedals. Everybody could fly a Cirrus. So another important note that I'd like to point out is a lot of airports are adding what I call a second runway. Um, you'll notice more and more airports have parallel runways, and it'll always be like a 1836 left or 1836 right. Um, and so what they're doing, and this is fantastic, I appreciate airports doing this, um, it allows you to line up for a runway, and then if you can't keep up with the rotation of the Earth, you just set it down on the other runway. So here's an interesting trick I'll tell you. If you go to an airport with two runways, they're always going to clear you for the runway that makes the most sense. They're always going to clear you for the runway that's in the direction the Earth is turning. They're never going to clear you for the direction opposite the Earth's rotation because you would never be able to hit it. So you can tell which direction the Earth is rotating at any given point by which runway they clear you for at an airport. All right, so let's go prove this point. I'm going to go to an airport that's got two runways and they're gonna clear me for the runway that makes the most sense based on which direction the Earth is turning at this time. I haven't even looked to see yet. Denton Tower, Grumman 897 Julia Bravo. 897 Julia Bravo, Denton. 897 Julia Bravo is about uh, six miles northwest, uh, inbound, uh, touch and go, and I've got the numbers. 897 Julia Bravo, right there, four, three miles northwest of the field. All right, I'll report three miles northwest of the field, seven Julia Bravo. 
And uh, Grumman uh, 7 uh, Juliet Bravo Runway 18 right, clear touch and go, make right traffic. All right, 18 right, clear touch and go, right traffic, Grumman 7 Juliet Bravo. All right, so you saw he cleared me for 18 right. Uh, that means the uh, earth is coming at me from this direction, which means it's turning from east to west. Uh, and if I can't maintain center line, I can let the plane drift over to 18 left. So, uh, and I'm going to do, he gave me right, close traffic, makes complete sense. So, uh, science. So right now I'm flying against the rotation of the earth. So it's coming at me and I'm going to begin my turn. You can see they've got two parallel runways, one right, one left. And I do have planes taking off on the left runway, which is not a problem at all. But for landing, this gives us the option. That's why they say the option. It means the option to land on the right runway, but also, if needed, the left runway. This is all true. All right, flaps 50%, gear 50%. Everything looks good on this one. And at 500 feet, we'll go full flaps and full gear. I should be practicing for my instrument check ride instead of making goofy videos in Minecraft. Oh, this is going to be a pretty landing. Oh, this is going to be gorgeous. Let's all just take a moment and enjoy this landing. Oh, this is this 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 landing. This should be taught. They should teach this in all the all the training courses. Oh, perfection! You're about to see perfection. Oh. Well, the tram center line couldn't be more. It's just the center. My wheel's just looking at that center line. It's just looking at it, and it's going, "Come on, come on!" Right there. Oh, uh, look at that. They don't make landings like this anymore. Oh, perfect, perfect. All right, flaps coming up. Two clouds at two five thousand. Temperature three one. Good. All right, just to prove this is all true, we're going to head to another airport that has two runways, and you'll see they're also going to clear me for the right runway, or in this case, the western runway, because today the Earth's rotating that direction. So if that doesn't prove it, then nothing will. Alliance Tower, Grumman eight nine or seven Juliet Bravo. Grumman, call line, start taking. Yeah, Grumman 897 Juliet Bravo is about eight miles northeast. Uh, inbound, touch and go. I have information, Victor. Grumman 7 Juliet Bravo, are you at 2,100 feet? That's uh, affirmative, eight, affirmative 897 Juliet Bravo. Grumman 7 Juliet Bravo, make straight in runway 16 right. Same intentions after your touch and go. All right, straight in one six right. Uh, I'd like to do uh, maybe two touch and goes, and then I'll depart to the east. Uh, seven Juliet Bravo. Grumman seven Juliet Bravo. Roger. Runway one six right. Clear for the option to make right traffic. Alliance Delta two nine or nine or one. All right, clear for the option one six right two nine or nine or one eight nine or seven Juliet Bravo. All right, so he cleared me for one six right. Um, this airport is actually doing a one six instead of a one eight. So the runway is a little bit cockeyed into the rotation. This helps out a little bit, um, but on days when the Earth's spinning the other direction, you are going to be chasing it just a little bit. All right, this is going to be a beautiful landing. Start taking notes, kids. It's going to be perfect. All right, get your cameras ready. Take your notes. This is going to be the perfect landing. Every landing should be the perfect landing, but this one's going to be the most perfect. Oh my gosh, this is gorgeous. Oh my gosh. Uh, that gust of wind is going to make it even more perfect. Oh my god. I couldn't be more in line with that runway. They will measure the straightness of things moving forward based on my final track. Recently, one of my students came up to me and they asked, Brian, is there a reason that all the runways in the world run north and west? North and west? Uh, cardinal directions are a, a, a thing for me. Now, when I say student, I teach an elementary school.
Now, when I say student, I teach a driver's ed course to elementary schools at the local. Now, it would be really easy for me to just explain to you why all the runways run north of here. Click this link to see the most recent video upload. Click this link to see a video that YouTube thinks you might like. Click this link to subscribe to my channel.